Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Pinetti. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm decorating it in the everyday section of my Happy Planner. Coming up this Saturday is the 4th of July, which in America is kind of a big deal. We like to celebrate our independence. Uh, so I'm going to use these four super old Happy Planner sticker books. These sit in the back of my sticker book bins and I almost never use them. So I'm going to see if I can do a 4th of July spread with just these. Even though I've got the summer sticker books and the seasonal sticker books, I'm just going to use these old ones. And I had this idea to make an American flag uh, with my actual planner spreads. So you can see the top corner is kind of going to be blue, representative of those stars, and then some red and white stripes. Um, but without using washi tape, just using stickers. So I'm going to try to map out where that box for all those stars is going to go. About like so. All right. And again, just using these four old sticker books, none of which are seasonal. And away we go. So I'm looking for blue stickers, not too large, that I can kind of make a collage out of in this top corner. And I'm not going to use stickers that are stars or with stars on them that's a little too literal. Just blue. <laughs> and I'm not going to do chest circles. I am going to mix it up and use other shapes, don't worry. I'm not really concerned with what they say. I don't use the ones that are like appointment or shopping. and Those, those I'll use and I'll save those. You can see I've had these a while. I've used some of them, but I still have a lot of odds and ends that I'm not sure if I would use otherwise. I'm just going to build this shape. Don't want too purple. Yeah, I like mixing up the different shades of blue. Just going to use a craft knife because that one was a little too long. Maybe some of this lighter blue. And then this is that old watercolor sticker book. Trying to fill in the few left leftover spots. No, not that one. <laughs> I think that one was clear, and so that solid black line shined through it. And instead of I'm going back in with my correction tape, I'm just going to use an opaque sticker there. All right. Almost there, just this bottom corner here. And I didn't want too many circles in a row. I wanted it a little more random than that. And then some of these tiny little blue icons just to tuck in. See a third sticker in a row, circle in a row, and that one kind of comes down and hits it. So I'm just going to chop the bottom. It kind of breaks up the shape from having three circles in a row and helps it fit a little better there. And a couple more little blue icons. Sometimes on those little ones, the tweezers can help. And then one of these to-do stickers. It's a lot like that one next to it with the hearts, but that's okay. All right, and that's gonna do it for my blue stars. That's close enough, right? I'm just going to erase some of that pencil line that still shows through. Okay. Now we can start in with our red stripes. I'm not going to be totally accurate here. I'm not going to do 13 stripes. Um, I'm not going to measure them out to make sure they're equal spaced or anything like that. I'm just winging it here. And I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I do like how that blue box turned out. Um, we'll see if I like it at the end of this. <laughs> so I'm trying to 
like as I go, I'm trying to figure out where these stripes are gonna be. I figure we could cover some of the black with red. And then make sure that stripe continues over onto that page. I wasn't sure about that white one with the red words, but that's okay. That'll work. It'll count as red. And again, trying to mix up the shapes, trying to mix up the ones with words, the ones without words. I love that, yay. I realized I didn't leave white space up against that blue starry box. <laughs> I just kind of did solid red. That's alright. Yeah, I didn't want those two circles next to each other. I like doing these kind of spreads that are different. For me, it does feel a little more creative than this sticker is made to fit in this box. Um, but I still need to be able to use this planner, so I'm going to use some colorful boxes so I can actually still write on it. Because I kind of covered up <laughs> almost all the white space. But I still have some appointments that I will need to keep. And it might be nice if I could remember those. So I'm going to use, I think, just the gold. Because I don't want to detract from the page and then I was trying to figure out do I want to cover the red it was kind of the idea then I realized maybe I should be putting these over the white part of the stripes so that it's not as noticeable I don't know <laughs> I'm figuring this out as I go along can you tell all right and I need one more Friday and Saturday Especially a Saturday being 4th of July. Even though I will not be going anywhere. We're home quarantined. Alright, and a nice big gold box for the edge there. And that's actually going to do it. Let me know what you guys think. I actually kind of hate it. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of hate it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, comment down below. Click like if you like it. I would love to know if you guys like it. Um, consider subscribing. I do try to do creative stuff like this every now and then more than just stick the stickers where they belong. I'm just going to pop those back in the planner. But let me know what you think. Um, click like. Hopefully you'll like it enough to subscribe to my channel. But thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.